Hey YouTube, this is Heather and I'm back with another video. Um, I haven't had one in a while and I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of an update on my life and some projects and stuff. So right now we're actually looking at some vintage cameras that I recently acquired. I wanted to do this video in my room because I'm planning to move out this fall. Um, for school so that I can be closer to school and I have a basement suite lined up and everything and I'm really excited about that um, but I'm sad to be leaving my room so I just want to kind of spend a little time in here so I figured I'd make the video in here so anyway um, the vintage cameras if you know anything about them please let me know because I really know nothing but I just love how they look so all of them are Polaroid or Kodak and I got them from a lady who's local to the area. She was just wanted to sell them. So I've been wanting to collect these for quite a while. So I figured it was a good time. I'm going to take you to the other side of my room where I have a couple more. So here's a couple more that I have. A Polaroid and a Kodak. And I really love these. And I love how they look with everything else in my room. I think it's pretty fun. I've got a birdcage and a dress form and some other memorabilia. My typewriter actually works. Hello YouTube. don't know if you can read that. So anyways, here's a couple more and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the amazing opportunities I have been blessed with this summer. I got a job at the local library doing a kids summer reading program which I've been loving and I actually have an album or a journal kind of thing to share with you about that and I've also been given a job at Scrapbooker's Paradise in Calgary which is about 40 minutes away from my parents house where I'm living right now and in the fall, I'm actually going to be teaching classes, which I'm super, super excited about. So if you have any advice on how to teach a class, what you love to see in a class, um, just different things that you like about certain instructors or anything I can do to make it a great experience for everyone, I would love to hear your advice. So please let me know about that. I'm really excited and nervous, but I think it will be a wonderful opportunity. And so I'm just going to show you my coming projects that I've been working on lately. So as I said, this um, journal is about the summer reading program I'm doing. And we actually are getting our teen groups to make these and kind of scrapbook and journal and just do whatever they want in here to keep track of their summer and I made this out of a book cover as you can see here and I covered this part in magazine this is a photo from a National Geographic I used some washi tape there and I just used these colored binder rings to go through and hold all the pages inside and I covered this is the original spine that's what the book was and I covered the inside with just black duct tape. This was the original interior cover and I just sprayed and painted a little bit, added this, added the tape, and this is how we're tracking their reading. We created these on the computer and then there's a bunch of magazine photos, um, different memorabilia that I've collected so far and I'm going to be adding a lot more to this. So. That was just one thing I wanted to show you. I really love how this binding turned out and I think I'll have to use it again because it was fairly easy. I just punched these with my big bite and yeah, it was pretty easy. And then this is my other thing. You've probably seen some of this before. It's my art journal I'm working on currently and I just did this page spread which I really like how it turned out. I used a lot of layering, a lot of different products on here, some um, molding paste with some perfect pearls on top, and there's a quote here that says, if you are always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. It's hard to read. 
And then I just put this as the title, and this is a camera in the Another background. journal page that I recently did is this one, and it just says live each moment to its fullest, and I cut these letters out of a um, journaling card sort of thing that came pre-made, and I used a lot of sprays, and there's even some crackle paint on there. It's hard to see in this lighting. But there's a lot of different texture. There's some ultra thick embossing enamel there. Oh, there you can see the crackle a little bit here. And I just used some scrap found items and papers. And I stitched. Actually, this was from the opposite side on the page, but the stitching goes through both sides, so I incorporated that. And that's pretty much everything I had to talk about. So again, just let me know on your advice about the classes. I'd love to hear it. Um, and let me know if you have any other video requests. I'm still planning to do kind of a binding tutorial compilation of all my favorite binding techniques, but that could be a while, hopefully sometime this summer. So anyway, thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great summer.